three, two, one. What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. And today we're gonna be doing the $15 aquarium challenge. I already done this in the past, I did a $20 one, but today we're gonna be doing a $15 one only because we can't get any fish from here, so we're gonna have to go to a different store and that's probably gonna be an extra few dollars, but we're just doing the aquarium. So the aquarium in total has to be $15 in order to meet the circumstances for this challenge. What I wanted to show you when I was over at the fish section, obviously I can't get any fish from here. From the background you can see that it says, sorry for your inconvenience, we cannot sell any fish today. But there's something really cool that I've never seen before and it is a green tiger barb. And I've never heard about this either. So let me show you guys this really quick. So what I was saying is, I've never seen this before and it's a little bit more green on the camera obviously than it is in person because the light and uh, the camera picks up a lot more stuff than my eye can. It's just so different, I've never seen a green tiger barb. And then over behind me right now, I have two of my favorite cichlids in the cichlid family and it is the Venestus right here, the Venestus cichlid. Those guys, because their colors are actually insane. And then down here, these um, Damasian, I think that's how you say it, Damasian. Look at that. The blue is just so popping on that thing right there. And what I'm guessing is that some of the fish have ick or something because they probably just got a shipment and the fish have ick or something, some type of disease that you would not want in your own aquarium at your house. So that's why they're not selling them. They're just curing it before they can sell them. That's why it says that right behind me. I really wish I could get one of these from my pond. They're so cool. Look at them. There's baby koi's right here. We have the butterflies. And then this is um, assorted koi's right here. And then these are assorted large koi. Look at that. Definitely once they're allowed to sell fish, once again, I'm gonna be coming here and buying one of these because you guys remember what happened to mine last time. They passed away, I have no clue what it was from. I think something got in the water from um, the frogs dying in it or something. But enough looking at the fish. Now we're gonna be doing this $15 aquarium challenge. All right, so I know you guys don't like when I buy super small aquariums. So I took the bigger aquariums into consideration this time. We have a one gallon right here and we have the two gallon right here. So we're gonna be picking between one of these. I think I might go with the two gallon just because it's a little bit bigger and we might actually be able to keep fish inside of it and it might be a lot more cool having fish inside of this one than a smaller one like this. They both have filters on it, they both have lights, and they both have a top for it. What else is it? Filter cartridges, uh, multi-colored LED, and I think this one is a singular colored LED. So we're probably just gonna go with this one, and I might grab a few plants just to put them in there, and I have some gravel at my house that we can be using for this tank right here. Anyone has that just laying around usually, and that's not put into the cost of the tank. All right, I'm gonna set this down, I'm gonna go put this one back, and we're probably gonna grab a few things for this right here. This tank right here is $15 itself, so um, I'm gonna grab just a few things just to add up the price a little bit. So it's probably gonna be like $20, but I really wanted to grab this, not even just for this tank right here. That's not in the cost range, because that is not just for this tank, it's also gonna be used in my 10 gallon tank after that for my crayfish and stuff like that. And now this is where the price comes up for this tank. Um, just like two plants, two of these $1 plants right here, because why not? We're just gonna put them in there. And then I think I have one of these at my house so we don't need to buy one of those. That honestly should be doing it just fine. We'll just put those in there right now. And um, be aware we're not gonna be able to get any fish for this today just because the filter in here is not cycled. So we're gonna have to wait a few days and actually do that. We're not gonna be able to get fish in this video. We're gonna probably get them in the next video. All right, so since we have everything inside of here now, I have the I have krill for my arowana. I have the two plants, the piece of wood, and then the other aquarium with the light and the filter in it. So we're gonna go pay for this right now, see how much the total is, and I will get you guys when we're outside by my truck 
and letting you know how much it costed. All right, so I just made it back out here and I guess what it said in there was wrong. It said this was $15, but it's $20. That's fine, we'll just do a $25 aquarium challenge since the plants were, you guys didn't see that, but I just caught my keys off my truck because they fell. But basically like a $25 aquarium challenge because this is $20 plus tax, probably like almost $21, maybe $21. And then these plants were somewhere around $1.25, so that's another $2.50 plus tax. So we'll just call it $25. And um, let's go head back to the house right now, put all of this together, and see how you guys like it. I have the aquarium sand in the back of my truck right now that is going to be going in this. It is going to look really cool, so stay tuned. I will see you all when I'm back at my house. We made it back home. Let me turn on the lights before I start filming once again. It feels so good to be inside. It was hot as heck in my truck. Let me set everything down. And then we're gonna get to filming making this aquarium right here. Hold on, let me, let me just turn on everything. As you can see behind me, the peacocks and everything are doing well. And inside of the peacock tank, all of those little plants died. And then the big ones are starting to get like brown leaves and everything like that. So if you do know anything, about that, if you if I can take care of that in any way, maybe get some plant fertilizer or whatever for the tank, that special stuff they sell at the pet stores, I will for sure be down to get that because those plants are really cool and I wanna keep them alive. And everything else inside of this tank is doing very good also, but let's start making this aquarium. Finally getting to sit down. We got our krill right here for the arowana. That, very good if you want your arowana to be very colorful. Very, very good if you want your arowana to be very colorful is what I meant. What the heck did I just say? Colorful? We have the plants right here. These are actually pretty cool. I was thinking that there's a lot of plants there that don't look that good, but these honestly do look pretty nice for a dollar and 15 cents. Usually they look really, really fake, but once this little black is in the, in the bottom of the gravel or the substrate, whatever you want to call it, it will actually look very, very colorful inside of a tank. I also have the other one from the last video I did back here. Total today was $50, but that's with the krill. The krill is like $15 itself just for those. And then this was also over $10 itself too, which is mind blowing. I wouldn't have bought it if, it, if I knew it was that expensive. You know, sometimes you get things on accident and you just don't want to return them. So this is gonna be going in there with the two plants around it probably, just like that. But now the special part, I've been waiting for this moment. Come here, baby, let me see this. All right, so, whoa, what? I didn't know, hmm, I didn't know it looked like that. I thought it was circular or a square. Are you for real? I really, did not look at it that well, so it feels bad. We got our little top right here with our light. I mean, at least it's a nice aquarium. Here's our filter right here. Not too bad either. I've never seen a filter like this before. And what is down here? I think this is the top to the filter with the pump on it. This is for the light. Let me go and get the substrate really quick. I will be right here in the same exact spot when I'm done. Before I start making this aquarium, I want you all, if you have not already, I know I say this a decent amount, but if you guys have not already subscribed and put your post notifications on, I would very much advise you guys to do so if you want to be the first 10 to comment on my videos. I will respond to you, I will like your comment, and also for the rest of the people that don't make it in time, I do respond to a whole bunch of different comments throughout the comment section that is uh, down there. I do respond to a lot of you guys if you guys do say something nice, but if you don't say something nice, I'll sometimes respond and uh, not say something very nice back, but sometimes it happens. And um, so yeah, if you have not subscribed already and put your post notifications on, go do so right now down there below. This is gonna be the first thing that's gonna go in. Let me rip the tag off of here because we're not gonna return it. Barely fits in there. I'm gonna put it right there. So the front is gonna be this side. I'm gonna show you guys that side. All 
All right, so there that one is too. This is actually looking pretty cool. I would say so myself. And um, I'm not sure exactly how this top goes. When in doubt, read the directions. This side over here that you guys are on is actually the back right now. And I'm kind of glad for it because if not, I would have had to redo this whole thing, even though it didn't take long. So you don't necessarily want to siphon the water out into the small aquarium with the sand inside of it because most likely mess up the sand that is inside of your small tank. So you're just going to want to dump this in here slowly, or you can probably just dump it right into the filter. Alright, so there we go. We filled up the entire aquarium with the water from the 75 gallon tank. And now the only thing we have to do, put the top on and set it back over here where it's going to be staying at, right in the corner. I finished it, but I don't know if you guys are ready for this. It looks amazing. So, let me put my camera down really quick, turn on the light for you, and you will all see this amazing $25 aquarium challenge that I think is worth way more than $25 because you can put a few fish in here like a betta fish maybe like two tetras but tetras need a lot of space to run around so I wouldn't put them inside of here maybe like a yo-yo loach or something just a fish that does not like to move too much three two one let me switch it to the white light Oh, it's actually on the color changing light right now. I didn't know that. But look at this. Insane mini aquarium. Tell me that's not worth $25 right there. I mean, the plants look awesome. This gravel in here was literally not even a dollar that piece of decor in there is nice now let me switch it to a regular staying light all right we're at the white light right now it kind of looks blue on camera but it is white the only thing i don't like is that this aquarium is the corners that it is it doesn't look very good on camera it looks kind of good in person but I just don't know if I would recommend it to other people. I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is a hexagon right here. It's a two gallon tank and it has a filter that comes with it. But I just don't know if I would recommend it because the corners that are on it. It just does not look too good on camera. I'm sure a lot of you out there don't film that much and probably would not mind having this small aquarium for literally $20. It's not bad. It's going to have one beta fish in there is what I'm gonna put in it. Or whatever your choice is down in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of fish you want me to put in here. Nothing crazy, I'm not gonna put anything in here that's gonna need a lot of space. I'm only gonna put like a beta fish or some type of fish like that that does not need a lot of space, like I said before, to roam around. And this is just a perfect aquarium. We got our crew right here in my hand. I'm gonna toss it right inside of the tank. And the arowana should destroy it. I mean, he loves krill. There he goes. He has not eaten krill in a very long time. So that's why his colors are not too bright. They used to be a lot brighter. Oh, he missed it. There you go. So a lot of you guys know that arowana are probably one of the most gorgeous freshwater fish there is because their colors will be bright pink, bright orange, and bright red. And there's very many different types of them that are very expensive too. But this is where I'm gonna end off the end of this video. I wanna thank every single last one of you for watching. And if you have not already subscribed, if you didn't hear me before, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button, put the post notifications on, and be the first 10 people to comment on my video, and you will 100% get a response from me. All right, you heard that from me. I will be responding to various different comments throughout the whole entire comment section that is below. So make sure you do comment and put a, 
fat thumbs up on this video. And that is where I'm gonna end it off. And I will see you all in my next video.